minutes to show you how to make these cute little mini cards or even mini albums out of one sheet of double sided 12 by 12 paper, 24 inches of ribbon, whatever embellishment you want to put on the front, and some insert cards that you can make out of cardstock or whatever you want to. So let me open this up and I can show you that inside you have eight pockets in here that you're going to make. And you can put your little inserts inside. I used my die cutter to cut this one out. If you don't have a die cutter, you don't need to use one. You can just go ahead and cut out some inserts from your paper trimmer that fit in. These are, these are so easy to make. They're really cute. They're good cards for kids. Here's another cute little one that I made that has some little inserts in, kind of a girly one. Um, this is a, one I've made, it's kind of a boy one, I guess, but I've made these for kids, and what's kind of good about these is if you make them as cards, you can maybe use this as a money card and, and tuck some money inside of the pockets as you're making the card if you want to give somebody some money. Very easy to do. So, first of all, I'm going to start out and I use my scoreboard. If you don't have one, you can still make a card without a scoreboard. I just find it a little bit easier to use the scoreboard. So I kind of, I like this kind of pretty piece of paper right here, and I'm going to make my card out of that. So just to let, to show you quickly what direction you want your card, your pattern, is how you're going to lay it on your scoreboard to do your initial scoring. So it's kind of confusing. I want my card to have this pattern going up and down on the card. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lay it like this. So that my pattern goes from side to side as opposed to top to bottom. And I hope after I show you how this works, it will be clearer. So you're going to make your first score at one and a half inches. And I would say take it easy because I was just trying to demonstrate this and I jumped one of the little score lines and it kind of messed it up. You're going to do another one at 6 inches and you're going to do another score at 10 and a half. Then you want to rotate your paper 45 degrees. Now you're going to make a score at 3 inches, 6 inches, and at 9 inches. Ah, see, and I just jumped the track here. Okay, let me try this carefully. There we go. I think I got it. So now you want to go ahead and fold on those scores that you just did. I'm going to move my scoreboard out of the way because you really aren't going to need it after this point. Use your bone folder to get those. Now sometimes when you fold double-sided paper, it cracks a little bit along your fold. This paper isn't, but some of it does. You can ink those edges if you're concerned about the look. I believe I had to ink the edges. No, I did not on any of these. Um, I did. This one did kind of crack a little bit. Maybe you can see it. So I inked it. It's still not quite the way I want it, but I don't know that anybody noticed it. But just something to take in mind. So go ahead and fold this. Now you're going to go on your other, the first fold you made, fold it in half, and then fold it. Now this is where you're going to kind of decide where you want your pockets or not because this fold is making your pocket. So let's fold that up. Here's the other fold. So now if you don't have a scoreboard, you you can fold your first, you can do your in half and then half on that, then flip it half and then this can be kind of tricky. You only want to come up, if you can see that, about halfway up. So this is essentially going to be your card. So the next trick is get your scissors and you're going to cut right down the middle on your scoring line to your last 
fold. So don't cut all the way through. Just leave your last kind of oblong there as it is. This is basically making your card. Now you want to fold this kind of an accordion fold. Same. Go back and do an accordion fold on those scores that you made. Kind of push it down and ta-da! There is your card. Kind of raw form but we're going to put it together. So on these on this little piece here that you want to keep together. Now you can use um, li you can use liquid adhesive, tape roller, whatever you have. I happen to have this here, so I'm going to use this one. And hopefully I can get this off without making too big of a mess here. And of course, it doesn't want to come off. And you want to go ahead and fold this down. And I hopefully you can see this is kind of the beginning of your card. What you also want to do on each side on your pocket is, and this is why I like this kind of score tape. You can use your liquid, you can use whatever you want, but I like this because it's very narrow and you can put your little inserts in there pretty easily. So you go ahead and do that on that one. Pull your score tapes off. And pull that one up. You don't really need to worry about the other pockets, just the ones on each end. So quickly let's do the other one. Then we're going to attach the ribbon and our embellishments. And you know, we're pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And put this off. I'm going to use that score tape also to attach my ribbon. I know I've used liquid adhesive and I don't like the result that I get from the liquid adhesive. Um, if, you, if I can show you on the back of these little cards that I made, this is, you, can, you can actually see it through the ribbon and I use the score tape on this and you can't see the adhesive but it, it, it keeps the ribbon sticking. So now you have your card, but as you can see, it kind of pops open all the time. This is where your ribbon comes in handy. So I have a 24-inch piece of ribbon, and I do a kind of a pinch fold right in the center. That's going to be my center part right here. And this is where I sometimes have a problem with this thing popping up when I'm trying to put my score tape on it. So there. Try to figure out where you want your ribbon and go ahead and you can put your score tape on there. Go ahead and use two of them. And pull those off. So that little pinch I made and it that shows me I'm that little pinch I made that shows me I'm at my halfway mark. I am going to take that and put that right here on the back of my little card and got and attach my ribbon. Then I'm going to do the same thing in the front. And this is like I said kind of bouncy, so I've used a tape dispenser and other things to just kind of hold it down. So let's put this on here. And again, if you have a tape roller you want to use, you can use liquid adhesives. You can use some twine. If you can get it to stick, you can kind of use whatever you feel like for decorations. So I'm going to pull this other little piece along here. There you go. Now you've got 
you've got your card and you can just tie it out of the way. So I'm going to add a few embellishments and with this I'm going to use my glue gun. But it's entirely up to you. I just like the glue gun for getting my flowers to stick a little better. So I gotta stick one there. Maybe right about there. You can put one flower on, you can put two flowers on, you can put as many as you want. There we go. And this one, I usually just put one little flower on, but I was getting kind of a overzealous here on my decorations because I really do like lots and lots and lots of flowers. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So at this point I have my pre-cut little inserts, but you can put whatever you want in here. If you have a letter you want to write, if you have some stamped images, just go ahead and fill in your eight pockets, get your strings off from your glue gun, tie your ribbon, there you go, cute little card, very easy for you to make, great little keepsake for anybody even as a mini album. Thank you all so much for watching, if you have questions contact me, I'll answer them for you, I'm going to try to see if I can even write this up so you have it available if you want it in writing, give me some time, here you go. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.